Police receive a phone call reporting gunshots fired at a house party. They arrive to the reported residence to find nearly 30 people partying hard, oblivious to the dead body that was lying in the road outside. The police halted the party and began questioning everyone who was present. While the police were investigating, a man appeared from down the street and told the police that he was looking for his friend. The man said that he was at the party earlier, but got in a fight in which he dislocated his shoulder. He went to the hospital and was returning to the party to find his buddy. But his buddy was the deceased man lying on the road. Ultimately, the police didn't find any direct witnesses to the killing at the party, but two names did come up. Allegedly, two teenagers, Isaiah Taylor and Mawu Revels, had been in a fight with the victim. The police located and arrested the two young men. Isaiah immediately lawyered up, refusing to speak to the police. Mawu, a 17-year-old, however, agreed to be interviewed. When I watched this interview, as I usually do, going in blind without reading the case files, I believed he was innocent. What do you think? Have a seat, man. <clears throat> Cold? Fuck oh, yeah. You know, we're burning up, man. Wish I was burning up. Alright, brother. Real quick, uh, just want to make sure I have your name spelled correct. Can I get your first spelling for your first name, please? Uh, M A W U. M A W U. You got it. And last name? R E V. R E V. E L S. Yes. <clears throat> and your address, sir? 726 Hellenic Avenue. Is there a space or letter? Uh, you know. You know, got it. And your birthday, sir. How much your birthday, huh? Yeah. Do you have a phone number? 575. 575? 993. 993. 9396. 9396. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Alright, uh, so it's Mao? Yes, sir. Mao. What's that? Mao. Mao? Yes, sir. Alright, Mao. So, Mao, I'm Detective Kappa. This is Sergeant uh, Savage. So, I don't know if you know why you're here. I don't. Okay. Well, I think you do, but I want, I want to make sure, I want to give you an opportunity to talk to me. Yes, sir. Um, you're here for a reason. You're not here by mistake, mm. by chance. I, I know you know why you're here. And I want to explain to you, and I want you to talk to me if you wish to. But before we do so, man, since you did come in a police car, yeah. uh, you are in handcuffs. You're not, you didn't come here on your own free will. I have to read your Miranda warnings. I don't know if they've ever been read to you or if you've ever seen the show Cops, but they'll usually start by reading you your Miranda warnings. <coughs> right? Yeah. So, do you have the right here to make sound? Come on. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I don't have to talk, sir. Yes, sir. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You know what that means? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. And then you can decide to exercise these rights and not answer any of my questions or make any statements. Do you understand the rights? Yes, sir. All right. If you understand your rights, it's yes or no, if you understand. And I just need you to print your name right there. And today is 731-21. All right, let's look at the card for me, please. On the opposite side, it says if you want to speak to me in reference to what I want to talk to you about. Um, I'm pretty sure you're curious about why you're here, and yeah. I would like to speak to you about it, but I want to know if you want, if you're willing to talk to me. And then I can just not talk to whatever. Exactly. Yeah, okay. And then, you can sign there now. Oh. That shit. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So what I'm here to talk to you about is something that happened early this morning. Um, uh, what kind of car? What kind of car do you drive? Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger. What year is your car? 2015. 15. Gotcha. Uh, what is your color of your car? Dark blue. Blue. Does it have any special? It's, out it's wrapped. Wrapped. Yeah. Okay. Like all half. Like half of the car? Yeah. What does the wrap look like? It's just like, it's just like, 
Uh, it's like triangles. Like shapes? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Where's your car at right now? Uh, I don't know. I dropped it off when I got back this morning from a basket to get an alignment, and I, I went to sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got you. Where'd you drop it off for shop? Uh, Big O. Big O, so Big O has it right now? Yes, sir. Oh, Big O on up the hill or on up the hill? The one that's farther, by the up the hill. Gotcha. So they have your car right now? Yeah. Awesome. All right, man. So you're, you mentioned you went to El Paso. Can you just walk me through uh, yesterday into today when you came back from El Paso? Okay. I want to know just your whole day. Started from yesterday? Yes, sir. Uh, I was hanging out with my football team. Okay. Can you name a couple of your football buddies that you're with? No, sir. And then I was taking out with them for maybe like three hours, three hours, four hours. And then I went to a party where my girlfriend was at. Where was the party? Where was the party? Where was the party? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, is it here in Las Cruces? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So you went to a party about what time are we talking about now? Like, like 12.31 ish. Okay, so 12.30 in the morning? Got you, and then? Yeah, I was there for, I wouldn't say that long, just cause, I don't know, like, there just kept being altercations throughout like the whole like party. So I was really just mainly outside for most of it. Just, just sitting there chilling. Cause then the cops kept uh, busting it too. Kept like shutting it down, and they started back up. So maybe like two something. Uh, I had got into a fight. I had got punched. I was caught like my face. I got know it. I was just fighting back. So you got into a physical fight? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know, remember who you were fighting? I don't know, sir. Uh, he. All I, all I remember is. So someone had like, I don't even know who he was, but he had like a red jacket. Red jacket? Yeah, I was sitting there chilling. Okay. He had, he had a sock like, fuck out with you. Boom. But I was like, damn. So I just, I fought back for a little bit. And I remember like me and him fighting and he fell. And when he fell, he like reached for like, he had like a, I don't know what these are called, like a satchel thing. Oh, like like a little a, man bag thingy? Yeah. Gotcha. He had reached for it. When he was on the ground, he had reached for it. I seen like his gun drop and I was like, what the fuck? So that's whenever I had that's whenever I had fucking ran back to my car. And when I got back to my car, I just heard like you just heard shots. And I, I don't know. And then I had I had just went home and I was just like, you know what? I got in I didn't do anything, like I'm gonna be okay. And I woke up this morning, I went to this football camp because I got invited by some coach for a scholarship. Okay. Yeah, came home, took my car to get an alignment, doing, went home to go to sleep. I was tired. Yeah. All right, so make sure I understand everything correctly. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So you're hanging around with your your football team, like the entire football team? Um, maybe like 10 of us. 10 of you? Gotcha. Yeah. Did you all go to this party together? No. Okay. So, so then you went to the party just you and to meet your girlfriend, right? Yeah. What's her name? Jesse. Jesse? Jessica? Jesse. J E S S Y? I. I got you. Do you have a lesson for her? Uh, uh, I got you, man. She goes to school with you, Lauren? No. No? Okay. So you go visit your uh, your girlfriend, Jesse, and you guys meet up at this party. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Where's this party uh, roughly around the city? I don't know if you know the address, or you can give me the exact address for it, where the party was popping. Uh, the street. Well, I don't know. It's like we're I think I think it's Lowe's. We're like it's like a Lowe's. It's, it's like that like like Plaza. Fuck, I don't know. Like, Where's Papa John's? Is? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And, and then there's like a little bit down. And it's the right. It's okay. Right there. All right. Cool. So then, uh, you said around you kept on seeing some altercations happen outside. Yeah. You mind your own business. Yeah, I just stay out the way. And then you said some guy randomly 
just starts trying to fight with you, gets into a physical fight with you. Yeah. You describe him as a guy wearing a red jacket. Anything else that describes him? You? He was tall. He looked older than me, but I'm, tall? I'm, I'm obviously like the youngest one at the party. Is he Hispanic, white, African American? Dark, but not. He looked dark, but he didn't look like a like a black person. Like okay, so like like a bean. So like a, like a, like a Hispanic person. Oh, okay, so Hispanic. Yeah. Hair was it short, long, buzzed? Like I don't know. It was more like just they're just like crazy looking. I don't know. Kind of like long. Longer. Yeah. Like like. Puffy long, or is it like long, like covering his face long? Long, like, long to like, I can't see like his eyes. Okay, so long hair, got it? So, so yeah, long hair, he start, he just pops you really hard in the face, you start defending yourself. Yeah. You said he's wearing a, a like a man bag or a satchel. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you said he tries to pull, he pulls out a gun. Yeah. What did it look like? It was, it was too damn dark, but I remember it, it, it I remember like, I, was, God, I got lucky. It's like when he went to reach, he basically like fell. The gun just dropped on like the street, and that's when I knew like, like that's my sign to get the fuck out of here. Okay, you know. And you got in your car by yourself? Yeah, I'm just, just yeah, I ride, jumped. Yeah, I ride, I ride by myself every day. All right, time. Cool. All righty, man. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you a piece of paper, dude. I want you to draw me the layout of how it all happened. You know, if you can just kind of give me an understanding on where you guys were when you guys started fighting. Yeah. You know, if you kind of remember, you know, draw the streets. I'll draw it. I'll draw like a basic layout of what the, what it looks like out there. And then you can just okay. add whatever you need to add to it, right? Yes, sir. So this right here is going to be the party house, all right? So this is the house where you're the... So we'll just put party right here. Yeah. All right. And then there's a street right here in the front. And this one turns this way. All right, and see if you can draw it or add whatever you need to add. So that's the party house. Well, this street over here behind us is the Solano. So this is the house, the street front, and then that's like a little street sideways. Okay, so I will, uh... Where did you park? Let's, let's start with that. Where did you park? Right here. All right. How many houses? Uh, so this, there's a house right across, right across, right? It must, like, right, is there a house right across from the party house? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of drive, just so that way you can have an idea how far away from that house you parked. Yeah. Okay. Um, so pretty close to it? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Were you facing this way? Or I was facing, facing like this, just like this, like, when I left, I had a reverse. Okay. Put an arrow which way the front of your car is. Please. Gotcha. All right. So then, where does it all... When you guys come out and you have start the edge or your physical fight, yeah. where does it take place, man? Like right. Like, like right. Like here. I put like an X. Okay, perfect. You just put in there a fight. Yeah. Alright, where does the the gun drop? Yeah. Okay, put the gun right there for me, please. Alright. Perfect. Just kind of under, just like, can I kind of see the kind of picture where you guys were at when it all happened? Perfect. You just want to put your signature right there, and right now it's, I guess, uh, 7 03 p.m. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, man. So, after that happens, you said you just get in your car, you, you saw the gun fall, you get in your car, yeah. and out you go. You heard, oh, I'm sorry, you heard gunshots. Yes, sir. How many did you hear? It was a lot. Or not, I don't know, maybe maybe more like six, maybe. Six? Yeah, maybe. And then you get in your car, boom. What kind of, have you, do you, have you ever, you know, seen guns or handled guns? Never. Like, no, yeah. Do you know like what guns look like or? I've never handled a gun. No? No. I just wondering if you could tell me what kind of gun fell on the floor. All right, cool deal, man. So you said you have a 2015 Dodge, and then it's a, you said a, cha a Charger, right? Yes, sir. Blue, like a royal blue? Or light blue? Dark. Dark blue? Yeah, so that, that's dark. Got okay. it. What color wheels do you have on it? Black and silver. Black. Silver. Got it. 
All right. And at the party, you said you only went with your uh, your girlfriend, no, no, nobody else that knows you, nothing like that, right? Well, I mean... That you went to her, her not that you met there, but... Oh, there. yeah, yeah. Well, I met her there, yeah. All right, dude. And uh, so, now this is where I get to ask you questions. Though. So that's all you remember from happening that night? Yeah. Nothing else, right? No, sir. No. All right, so... Would it surprise you to if I told you that people saw you and your whole football team there? My whole football team? Well, you had about eight guys that, that were with you. From the football team? I don't know if they were from the football team, but eight? Yeah, that was false. False? All right. Yep. And the football team when I won. What team you played for? Mayfield. Mayfield High School? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll be honest with you. They put you. They put you that you got in a fight. Yeah. All right. You and a lot of the guys that you were with sure. were fighting with, like four or four or some odd Hispanic guys. Ah, uh, there was a lot of them up fucking. It was just like every every way you looked. But one of the guys that was with you was talking shit to one of the other guys. That's the one that started the fight. Yes, sir. Can you tell me that guy's name? Who? The one that started the fight. I don't started the fight. Or who's the one that started the argument? I don't know who started the argument. Did you guys, uh, did, did your friend, the one that started arguing with that other guy, did he get kicked out of the party? No, I like to say, I don't know who started the argument. Oh, okay. Um, I, like, I'm being like, for, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I, you know, I'm just chilling. I just get fucking, just hitting my shit. That shit fucking me. That's like that. Oh, good. That's I got you. Well. So, it's because the reason why I'm asking is because they said that uh, originally you and a couple of your guys uh, yeah. that were with you got kicked out of the party, I guess, for somebody disrespecting a girl or some something like that. Do you remember something like that happening? Maybe uh, one of your friends, not, I'm not saying you, but one of your friends either uh, slapped a girl or something to that. That's right. Uh, or yelled at a girl, something to dis some type of disrespect against a girl, and they kicked them out of the party. No, sir. I don't no? remember that. I didn't get kicked out. I could have been in there the whole time. Okay, oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Was your friend kicked out? Does yes, that make any sense? Gotcha. And then when you guys came out, they said that there was a, like a, a like a small small <laughs> argument between two individuals between two individuals, and then it turned out that you and your and a couple of your people that were with you started jumping one of the gentlemen. That's what that's what Bean said. Okay. okay. And I'm just trying to see if that's clarify if it's if it's making sense. Because it wasn't just one person that said was saying this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it says that they start jumping, they're fighting against, fighting almost all of them against this one kid. Yeah. And then some other people start jumping in to try to help them. Yes, sir. Does that make any sense? Is that true? Or I, I didn't jump in quite sir. Did you witness it? Though? I'm not saying that you did, but people that were with you. I mean, sir, honestly, there was not really just a bunch of about one people fighting one person. Mm -hmm. It was like a like a rumble, fucking, like a, yeah, like a fucking like a rumble. You just see people come from everywhere, just every everyone's just just banging right there in that street. Okay, so after that, you get in a fight, and the one that obviously is the one that you remember the most is this gentleman that was wearing the red jacket and yes, long hair, Hispanic and tall. Yes, sir. Was he taller than you, or about your height? Like, like about like my height. Okay. So then, after the altercation, man. They name. They say that you had the gun. <coughs> Me? Yeah, you. That's why. I'm, that's why you're here. Yes. Okay. So that's why I wanted to get clarification. Did you pick it off the ground? Is that no, how you got I, it? No. Is that how you got it? Because they said they saw you with it in your hands. Yes, sir. I. That did. I don't, I don't play with guns. I don't touch guns, sir. Never. Yes, sir. Never. Never handled a gun before. Yes, sir. Suspicious regarding you on Instagram, social media, and all that. Was that? I don't have a gun on Instagram, social media, none of that. What about on your cousin's page? Oh, good. On my cousin's page. Okay. All right. So after after they said they they mentioned you guys, they mentioned you and another gentleman that you guys were the ones with the handguns. Okay. Okay. And like I said, I just want I want your side of the story. I, if you yes, were sir. if you're scared because they were they were beating you up, I understand what. Happened, yes, sir. And self defense is a whole different deal, but yes, sir. But yes, sir. they, I, I would never, I don't even get the heart to shoot someone, right? Like, I don't, I, that's that's not me. I, I got you. I play football, I just got my first offer today. Like, I'm, I really I don't. You. I never said you had to shoot somebody, I just all I said was you had the gun. I didn't say you shot anybody, yeah. But still, if you have a gun, you're gonna shoot someone. That, that's the intent for a gun is to shoot, no, sir. I have, I have plenty of guns, I don't shoot people with them. 
Just because just because we carry the gun doesn't mean you're gonna shoot somebody. Make sense? It's self defense. It's a it's a tool that you use as defense as if you own one. If you own one. Uh, no, I've never died over. No. I got you. So you brought it up, but did you shoot anybody? No, sir. Okay. And like I said, I heard shots. All right. So this is what's gonna happen next, right? Um, we you know that we picked you up at your house on Hellenic. Yes, sir. There's gonna be a search warrant on your on your residence, okay? Yeah. Am I gonna find any guns in there? Am I? No, sir. No. Uh, we're gonna do a search warrant on your at, on one of your friends' house as well. I'm pretty sure they already told you. No. No, your when your mom called you, you know, like to come out with your hands. Didn't tell you. Well, we're gonna search that house too. What no. house? It's uh. It's his house. house. Oh, my grandma's. Grandma's house, yes. Okay. So we're not gonna find any guns. They have your fingerprints, anything like that on those, are we? I don't live there, so can't tell you if you're gonna find a gun. Well, that, but that are your fingerprints. I didn't say. Oh, I didn't okay. say your gun. I just said oh, that, but I'm gonna find. Yeah. No, that's not my okay. I don't even go there. And right now, when I talk to Isaiah, he's not going to say that you had a gun as well because everybody identified you. I'm like, I'm not even bullshitting you. I'm here for a reason, dude. I wouldn't yeah. have pulled you and wasted uh, your time. Yes, sir. Your name is not a, mm -hmm. not a common name, dude. And for people to point you out. Yes, sir. People know you, man. Yeah. Your cousin. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You said you just got a scholarship, right? Yes, sir. I focus on football, sir. You, you are implemented in this. Right now, mission. Yes, sir. And everything will go out the window. Dude. Your cooperation, your truthfulness is going to matter. Yes, sir. Whether this is going to affect you and the rest for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. You know, you're seven. Yeah, no, seven. Yes, sir. No, I understand that. I'm not being truthful because I know that, like, I can get fucked up. Like, this can ruin my senior season that's coming up to play football. This can ruin the offer. Like, I know. Like, that's why I'm. That's why I'm here talking to you. That's why. I'm, that's why I did it. That's why I didn't. You know, be quiet because I know that. I need to say something. I talk to you because if not, my whole life is gonna be fucked. Everything that I work for since I was a little kid is gonna be fucked. There's a couple of videos that were out too. There's you, you know there's ring cameras now everywhere. Yes, sir. So there's ring cameras and even some of the people that were at the party specifically named you that you had a gun <laughs> and that your cousin and that <coughs> Isaiah had a gun. All right. They named you guys are the only ones with the guns. <coughs> Yes, I have a gun, sir. So, I don't. I'm not saying that you, that you did, yes, but from what more than one person yes, that sir. is not even they were not even related are saying yes, that you were. Yes, sir. If you did have a gun, it's the best time to be honest and let us know that yes, you sir. did have it. I'm not saying you shot or did anything with it, yeah. but that you had it in your possession. Yes, sir. Because once again, yes, sir. You're saying it yourself right now, man. You're getting jumped. Self-defense? Nah, yeah, I know, but no, sir, I don't, I don't be fucking around with guns. And is that what he's going to tell me right now when I want to talk to him? <laughs> okay. He's your cousin, I mean, somebody's going to talk, dude, somebody's going to, yes, somebody, you know, he's going to say something and it better match what you're saying, dude, if not somebody's lying, right? Yes, sir. And I got three different people that gave me specific names and sure. other witnesses that saw you guys and remember your car. They know you guys are very well known. Yeah. You know, your cousin has caused a lot of trouble at parties yes. in the past. And if you just got wrapped, wrapped up just because of his behavior, that's a different story. But it's yeah. not, I don't reckon, you know, I don't think it'd be in your best interest for you to f take a fall for something that you didn't do. Yes, sir. What do you think it is that we're investigating right now? In all honesty. A shooting? When you say a shooting, what do you mean? I don't know. Like, what would you like to Because I heard shootings. Like, I heard shots. So I'm assuming it's a shooting. You haven't heard nothing from anybody at the party. Come on. I don't know. I'm the youngest person there. I don't know these people. I got you. Most of them are like soccer players. You got player. your phone, right? Huh? You yeah. have a phone? Yes, sir. Okay. So nobody's been texting you today and telling you, hey, guess what? Cops are over here. This is what's going on. No. All I know is that hey, you guys were looking for my cousin this morning while I was uh, at my camp. How do you know that? Huh? How you know that? Uh, my grandma. Your grandma? Yeah. What'd she say? She told my mom that you guys were looking for him. How'd she know? I don't fucking yeah, know. And we didn't even talk to her, so I see only somebody somebody talked to you guys, man. I think we haven't said nothing. We didn't we didn't find you guys till when we picked you up, we had just picked up your gun. Yeah. So we hadn't talked to anybody that we were looking for you guys. Well, they said you guys kicked someone's door down. Keep looking for her, looking for him. No. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, so you guys work. text back and forth this morning? No, I just told you. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm asking you guys to text back and forth here in Isaiah's. I don't know. I just told you. I don't talk. I, I was at a fucking football game. Yeah. I can't talk at a football game. No, no. I was trying to win. Did you guys talk last night after after you guys jammed? Me and him don't talk. Mm-hmm. At all? No, we don't just sit there and text each other. That's okay. that's, that's, that's that's weird. Okay. I don't know. I'm just asking. Yes. But in this circumstance, you know, something crazy happened. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, I'm understanding what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, like, right. so I, you, I, I didn't know any, like, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there in the car. Just got my, um, my Popeye's, my mom. And then, then she gets a call, and she's like, looks at me, and looks up. And she's like, they're looking for your cousin. Yeah, like, he's, he was involved in the shooting. You know? So when you say that. shooting, what do you guys mean by shooting? I, I don't know. That's what, that's what, that's, that's what, what she told that's, that's, that's what she said that you guys said. That you guys kicked someone's door, saying that. Yeah. That works. Saying that's not true. None of that stuff is true. We hadn't even talked to your mama. We hadn't even talked to your grandma. Yeah. Till we picked, we went and knocked at your door. That's when we knocked at grandma's door. That's mm-hmm. when we, we didn't kick anybody's door down. We didn't do nothing. I don't know, sir. I'm uh, just telling you as much as Yeah. I, so they told me that they, they gave a, a specific, uh, what, what were you wearing last night? Let me ask you. I forgot to ask you that. Uh, I was wearing a black shirt. Black shirt? Yeah. Were you wearing a hoodie? No. No? Do you remember what uh, Isaiah was wearing? No, sir. What is Isaiah's nickname? I want to call it Chucky. Chewy. <laughs> Some why. What is it? Um. Some ch- Char. I don't know, oh, sir. Close. You know what it is. Come on, man. Charlie X Y. Chewy. Okay. I'll figure it out, man. All right. Yeah, like I said, they they describe you. They describe you down to the T. Yes, you and your gun with a damn laser on it. You were scaring the shit out of everybody, swinging those fucking swinging that gun around. And I don't know if you were just thinking people were going to start jumping you or what, but you guys were, both of you guys pulled out your gun with fucking lasers and swinging. Wait, how many of them people? Okay. All right? Well, I have, yeah. Yeah, that's what they're saying. I'm just telling you, that's what they're telling me. I didn't say you did. Yeah. That's what they're telling me you did. Okay. All right, and the, there was a person in a car that you guys shot at. And they named you as one of the shooters. So that's why I was trying to clear that. Was it you or was it your cousin? Because they named you and your cousin. And that the car <laughs> tried to pull out. And that you guys were after some guy named Nate. I don't know who the hell this Nate is. But the guys were trying to shoot him. I don't know what the hell it's all about. That's why I was trying to get some clarification. Yes, sir. So, so that person in that car identified you guys to say yes, sir. he's in that car and you guys start shooting at the car and the car we found the car and it has all sorts of rounds in it okay so we collected a bunch of rounds i'm not gonna find your fingerprints on any of those casings right no sir watch your dna uh yes sir what's like dna dna so we're gonna comment i don't know if they've done it yet or not but we're gonna get dna <coughs> okay and then we're gonna take it and we're going to use it on those casings. We're going to swab the casings for DNA. Like, like my mouth? Mm-hmm. So DNA is unique. So we're going to match up if you've touched those casings. Okay. And you have, oh. it matches up. Are we gonna, is there a chance that you handled some oh. rounds that no, they got this gun? No. No? No, no sir. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be today, obviously, but mm-hmm. we'll find out sooner or later. Yeah. So we have a chance for you to tell us, you know, the truth so that we have an explanation. I'm telling you the truth. Or it comes later on down the road, you know, when we have to come back and revisit this when we have all this stuff. Yeah, no, sir. I'm being truthful with you. Mm-hmm. Like I told you. I, I'm the youngest person at, at these parties. I, I, you know, I don't know anyone. I, I just, you know. I'm, you know, I'm, soccer players. I'm a high school kid. I have a good time, you know do you know the soccer players? I know one of them. One. What? I don't even know what the fuck his real name is. They just they just say it's just it's like E. E? Yeah, E. Is he the one that hosts the parties or what? We couldn't figure out who that guy was. They kept everybody kept on mentioning that E guy. But other than that, like So uh, we're not gonna catch you on ring camera, ring uh, ring footage with gun. No, nah, you'll catch me fighting though. Yeah. Because yeah. 
There's like there's, there's cameras around. Yeah, the you can't. You I ain't gonna lie. Like, you catch me fighting, but I told you that. And yeah, you never good. picked up that gun that fell out of that guy's back. Fucking ass. That's it. No tower defense, man. That's shoot. Your defense. No sir. No sir. You just pick it up and point it at him, like to get to spook him. I know you're trying to. He's trying to. He pulls. Trying to pull a gun on you. Yeah. You didn't pick it up to try to spook him or scare him. <laughs> no sir. So you want to be a suspect, or you want to be a witness for the shooting? What do you mean? That's what we're asking. Right now you're a suspect. Okay. Right. You give us something. You know what I mean. You transform from. Being the shooter, you have some information for us. Then you go from being the suspect and being the shooter yeah. to, I don't know, whatever else it is. What is whatever else it is? A victim. I mean, we still you have Isaiah. You get it? We still have those dudes. You're telling me this, you got jumped, right? No. Not me. You didn't get jumped? You said you got punched in the face. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get I didn't No, he didn't get jumped. He got punched yeah. in the face. Yes. You got punched. Yeah. You got in a fight. This dude that also punched him also pulled out a gun, right? Yeah, or tried. Yeah. Okay, That's so anybody pulls a gun, they, and they get a gun pulled on them too, and they lose the gunfight. Well, you know what I mean? But we don't have that from you. Yes, sir. All we have is you're sticking to this story that you didn't do anything except for getting a fight. Yeah. And it's hard because that's not what we have. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that yes, sir. I can, I'm understanding, sir. You can come through with something. Yeah, so well, I'm understanding, sir. But I'm just be honest. Like, I didn't have to come, sir. Like, there, there's maybe fucking 30 people outside, bro. We, we're going to roll the dice. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, we're working hard. Yeah. Right now. And yes, sir. this is the information, have, or else we wouldn't have never even bothered you because yeah. we had about 30 kids out there this morning. And we interviewed every single one of them. Yes, sir. And they're not here. You're here. Yes, sir. And that's not by accident. Yes, sir. So that's... No, yeah, no, I'm understanding. Yeah. When we say shooting, what are you thinking? Why do you keep asking me this? Why do I ask you? It, to me, if you say there's a shooting, there's a big difference between someone shooting at a party and someone getting killed. There's the shooting, the shooting is shots, right? Right. Okay, then there was a shooting. Like so that's said. what you think happened? That's it? Just shots. You know, just just shots. Right. Like, like any other party happens, people, someone airs the fucking party out. That's okay. So th this is what I want to tell you right now. Somebody's dead. Okay. And you're the suspect. Okay, so. That's how serious this is right now. The fuck? That's what I want to tell you, okay? So this is Do you know shooting who's dead? at a party. Oh. Do you know who's dead? That's right. The guy in the red giant sweater. The party that you're the at. The one you fought. You're identifying it. You as the shooter. Yes, sir. It's you brutal. fought him. You just told me that you fought him. Yes, sir. And that you tried to pull a gun on you. Yes, sir. And then he ends up dead. Yes, sir. And you tell me that the gun fell in the street. Yes, sir. And that's what I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what is that? How is, how is everybody going to look at that? that what like, are they going to say? Like, like it's my fault. Like you picked up that gun and you shot him, right? Yes, sir. But. but I did not, but, sir. Okay. The gun, the gun was like, even when I'm running away, like you, you hear people like, like, like they were asking, "Where's the gun?" They, they, everyone was telling me where the gun was. Like it's by the red car, by the red car. But I, did, I never touched that gun. That's that's not my gun. I understand. There's no point to touch that. Yeah. It's like you don't know. You see, you're wearing a black shirt, right? Yes, sir. And what color pants? Blue. Blue. Shoes. White. What? What kind of shoes? Jordan fives. Jordan fives. Are those at your house? All that clothes at your house? Yes. Sir. Where in your house the other day? I don't know. Uh, my shoes, I think, are downstairs. Downstairs? Yes, sir. All right, dude. You know what happens when you fire a gun, right? Yes, sir. What happens? Um. There's an explosion, right? There's an yeah. explosion. What happens? Gunpowder spreads. Yes, sir. Guess what happens to that powder? Mm -hmm. Do you know what happens to the powder? It falls on your clothes. Okay. I'm not going to find any gunpowder in your clothes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 
because I'm going to be collecting all your clothes, dude. I'm going okay. to collect, be collecting your clothes just to, and I'm doing this to try to help you out because if, if you didn't do it, yes, then I should not find gunpowder residue on your clothing. It would be gunpowder if, if you just, like, bite, like, there, it just... Well, dude, from what you're from what you're telling me, what you're talking about is that you were running to your car when you saw that, and when you're already getting to your car, you heard the gunshot. So that's not going to get the the powder's not going to travel to you unless they're you're next to the gun or next to the gun. No, I'm not. You're going to get the residues if I'm here, right here. Or shoot where next we're to at. each other. You'll get gunpowder on you. That's what I'm saying. You shoot the gun, you're going to get gunpowder on you. Correct. You shoot the powder, or I'm shooting next to you. You're going to get powder. What if it's in like the area? It has right. to be like this close, dude. If you're not this close to the gun. It's not gonna be on your body because it doesn't travel that much. It's, yeah. Unless you're fucking shooting a cannon, yeah. but you're not shooting a cannon, right? You're shooting a, a handgun that's being shot. It's only gonna be this much, dude. I mean, like four feet. Yes, so if you're not four feet from the gun, it's not gonna be on your clothing. Yes, Am I gonna find gunpowder residue on your clothing? Yes, sir. Hundred percent, dude. Right. Because this is like I said, this is where you're gonna get. This is where you're gonna screw yourself over because this is all evidence that I can't make up and you can't even make up at this point because this is shit that I can't. Do this, believe it or not, our job with this investigation is to make sure that you. Innocent. So we're gonna go I through. Doubt that one. We're gonna go through, and when we don't find anything on there, we say, you know what? That is bullshit. What they told us out there. We didn't find nothing out here on this clothes. Guess what? This dude is clean. He's telling the truth. But if I find gunpowder, then it's gonna fucking everything you've been telling me is gonna go out the window because it's gonna say all the shit you're selling, telling me is bullshit. Make sense? Because you didn't have I'm gunpowder. Honest. And we don't have a story or any way to explain it away. Yeah. You know, but if you were next to when the guns shots were going off, and yeah, like, you know what? Okay. I'm not gonna tell you who shot, but I was right next to the guy, and shit might have fell on me. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'm giving you an even shot so you can prove it, because this is not something I can make up. Yeah. It's what's gonna come out on lab. It's gonna be something that I can't change. Yeah. It's All gonna right. be there. Right. How close were you to the shooter? And I'm not gonna. You don't have to tell me who the shooter was. I don't even know. Like I said. It's just all in the crowd, like, okay, if I do the crowd up like this. So were you about this like, close? I don't know, yeah. Like, it was just a crowd of 30 people, bro. Okay. And it was just shots. Just boom, boom, boom. That's, that's when I... They were and, and they I, were a little more separate, dude, and that's what I'm saying, so... One nah, gunshot will give you nah, a little bit of gunpowder. No, nah, nah, they weren't separate. The we, shots no, that, we all have that video, and I've already heard them. Oh. They're like, boom, and then boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. So yeah. it's like that sequence. So it's not, it's not like pop, 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 You know what I mean? So it's... In like that moment, that's what it feels like. Okay, but I got you. It was just a crowd. It's big ass crowd, big So ass. you're close enough to where you you believe you might have gunpowder on your clothing? Maybe, yes, sir. Okay. But Fair I, enough. I, I Fair don't enough, have anything else anywhere else, sir. I got you. Just, Fair enough. I, all I, I just, need to know is if I find it, I know why it's there. Yeah. And it's not... Just because I, I was in that crowd. I'm pretty sure all of us that were in that crowd would have gunpowder. No, we already checked a couple of them and no. nobody else got it. So that's what I'm asking. It doesn't work like that. Okay. So you, if, if you feel like you were close enough, like at least from the yeah. room, then it's going to be on you. Yes, if sir. If you're not this close, yes, sir. it's not going to be on you. Yes, sir. All right, so you yeah. think it might be? Yes, sir. All right, so that way I can have them tested and we'll know. Yes, sir. And all that close is all together? Yes, sir. Maybe. I don't know. I just be coming around just throwing shit. Okay, gotcha. But um, I don't, you like, you won't find a gun. I don't have a gun. I, don't. I gotcha. Yeah. If I find a gun I'll, in your car, your car's not, I'm going to find a gun in your car, right? Because I won't pick up your car, too. No. Um, I might find some carts in my car. Some what? Some carts. What is that? I don't know what that is. Cartridges. Like, rounds? No. What is, no. I don't know what cartridges are. Like, like carts, like THC carts. Oh, I don't know. Dude, I, oh. I saw that shit. I'm not worried about that, dude. Oh. I, I, I hear you're investigating. Yeah. Drinking or oh. Weed smoking. We just uh -oh. told you what we're investigating. Okay, yeah, then, then, not, then that, that's like the only bad thing that in my car is like carts. Yes. Getting a murder. You so, can check that out. Secondly, dude, I, I'm going to be honest with you. If, if by chance those videos do come through and we see you with the gun, dude, it's going to be bad for you. Yes, sir. Because at that point, not only will you be in trouble for the shooting, yes, sir. or being involved in the shooting, I'm not saying that you shot that yes, guy, sir. but for the shooting, but you're also going to be in trouble for discarding that firearm. Yes, so sir. if you did have a firearm, it would be in your best interest to provide it back to us, because that's a different, that's an additional felony charge Yeah, no, that's yes, going to happen. No, so I understand. I don't, I don't have that firearm. I'm not going to find a firearm in your car. No, sir. Because I'm going to tear up your house right now, and I'm going to fucking tear up every space to, that you could possibly hide it. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. And I'm not going to find nothing. Okay. Yeah. Like, There's a process here, man. I'm telling you that you know exactly every spot that you're going to have been at from when you left the party and every single little spot that you went to. We're going to figure it out. It may not be quick, 
You might still be in jail by the time that this stuff goes through. We're I'm going to sit in jail. You're fixing to sit in jail right now. We don't have a story for you. And so I have to go to jail today and sit there. There's a chance. I have to sit in jail today. It depends on you. That's what you're telling me. It depends on you. It depends. So how does it depend on me? I just told you everything. I just told you my story, but I have to go sit in jail now. But give me a second. He's asking you first to tell me. Give me a little vouch for your story. You didn't give me any of your football player or your friends. You want to give me Jesse. Jesse Joy. Joy? Jesse Joy? Yeah. Aragon? Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. See, I need somebody to vouch for you, dude, because all I have is your story. Yeah. And I got four people telling me different. Yes, you know? Sir. So that's what I'm trying to say. I need somebody that's going to tell me your story. Yes, sir. And I want to make sure that when you I talk jumped. to you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that you got jumped. I didn't get Excuse jumped. Stop you saying that. Fight. Yes, you got in a fight. All right. Gotcha. And you want to ask me what player friend if I was with them? Uh, anybody that, that was there that can vouch for oh, what yeah. happened tonight. That's, uh, that's who I need to speak to. I need somebody that's going to tell me. No, this is all bullshit. This is what happened. I was with him the whole time this fucking fight went down. He fought. He protected himself. This is what happened. I saw the gun fall. Someone that was close to you that could help you. Help me put that together. Well, she saw, I think she saw the beginning of the fight, okay. but I made her leave. I got you. Do you have I, a phone number so I can call her? I don't know her phone number about her. Is it your phone? Yeah. All right. So do you have any way I can contact her? Or where does she live? Maybe I can go talk to her at her house. I just think somebody is going to, before... I mean, I can, I can, if you guys can give me my phone, I can tell you the number. Okay, I'll get it. I'll make sure they get you a, a shot so you can give me that number. And I, I just want to get... I yeah. want somebody that's going to be on your side. Yeah, yeah, give me the story. Yeah, she was there from the beginning, but like... Uh, did she jam with you, or did she jam before? Huh? Before the gun stuff. Did she jam? Did she leave, or did she stay? Oh, that's before. I made her, like, because that's my girlfriend. Like, I'm not going to put you in. I got you. Did, did you have any, do you have anybody that was there, or that can kind of help me with your your side of this version of when the gun came out and all that shit off, all that shit went down. Um, fuck. Somebody that can just tell me, dude, what they saw. And as long as it matches what you say, dude, that's what matters, dude. I need somebody that's gonna tell me, you know, the version that you are, that you happened and that was gonna give me what you just told me. Be honest with me, dude, like, that's what I need. I need somebody that's gonna vouch for you, dude. That's what I need. I don't know, maybe my cousin. You think he'll tell me the same thing? Yeah, but I, I, I haven't done shit. I didn't do shit. Okay. But he'll tell you that. He's not, not going to lie. Let's hope so. Is, is his name yeah. Jesse? Yeah. Jesse Joy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. This is what's going to dictate what's going to happen to you. So if you end up going to jail, you know what? You know, he, told you, he didn't help us out with your side. I'm just going to let you know right now. If There's no did, way I can go home tonight. Well, that's what I tell you. If his story. I'm asking him. Oh. Because he's the man with the plan. I do have a plan. I'm trying to be straight up and honest. Yeah, I'm trying to go home. Get in my bed. Okay. There's no way I will go home tonight. Answer that. Um. Yes. So. That said. Doesn't mean that you're not ever going to go home. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. I'm just trying to get, make it back home before my dad. Before your dad what? Huh? Before your dad? Oh, Monday. No, I got, oh, football. Monday. I got, I got football practice. Oh, you'll, you'll be back home before Monday, dude. I, 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 just, you're a juvenile. You're a juvenile. No, yeah. It's just Yes, sir. So. No, no. Should I be back home before Monday? Should be. I don't think they can keep you long. It just depends on the judge. Yes, sir. And yeah. it just depends on what we learn from I'm the show. I'm just trying to get back home. I got you. And, you know, we're trying. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and only one gun is all you saw. The one on the floor. You need to see anybody else with another gun. Yes, sir. I mean, I was really, I was really only focused on him. Like, you know. That, 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 that's what I'm asking. You, yeah. you didn't see any other guns. That's right. I was really only focused on him. Like, like, who the fuck are you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've never seen this person before in my life. And for you to just, you know what I'm saying, fucking hit me. Like, I don't know. Because we found his body during didn't have a bag on him. That's why I'm, it's kind of weird, you know? That's what, that's what's kind of. That's what's kind of odd for I, us. I'm pretty sure if you, you guys say you guys have cameras, if you guys check that out. Well, that's what we're waiting for, because you have oh. to still wait for someone to be able to download yeah, yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah. They take a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to get a couple that were yeah, yeah. that were in the area. We yeah, could yeah. hear the incident. We yes, could see the cars leaving. Yes, sir. But well, we're waiting for the other ones. The story that you're telling me, that that guy is armed, and he pulled out a gun, and now he's dead, I want to believe it, like, really bad. No, yes, sir. Like, you guys could do you guys have cameras, and I guarantee you 100% if you guys really do have cameras. Like, you, you, will, you will see the, the black, the black satch thing yeah, so, like around here. Remember, there's like 100 parts to this investigation, Yes, sir. Right? No, no, yes, sir. So video evidence is 
Everybody says talks about video evidence. Video yeah. evidence, right? Yes, sir. Video evidence is this much. Yes, sir. This much. Yes, sir. Investigation. Well, well, maybe my cousin will Hopefully. be be comply it and tell you guys. Yeah, and he's going to tell me 100% you never touched a gun. No, right? yes, sir. Okay, Take 100%. Gotcha. I, gotcha. I want to make sure that. I just they keep on stressing that because they said they named you by a name, dude. And like I said, I don't, I don't know when it's not just one person. That's what sucks is that people know you. Yeah. You know, they know you and they know your, yeah. your cousin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Crash. Uh, yeah. Do yeah. you know how to have guns? He posts them on the social media. We know it. Uh, you know, no need to lie. See, this is where you need to be truthful, dude. Because this is something that he puts publicly. Not You're not making shit up. You're not diming him out. He puts it publicly by himself. You're telling me that you didn't have a gun, right? Somebody's shooting next to you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to speak on my cousin. Okay. You know, I, know, know. I don't know what he, what he Have has. you seen him with guns? Yes, sir. Come on. Dude, I'm going to show you a picture on Instagram. You're sitting right next to him, and he's got an AR-15 right on his fucking lap. All right? You know that. You, you were there when he took the picture. It's literally your face. So, and then his Glock that he has. It's tough for us to sit here and want to believe you when yes, you're sir. Like blatantly blind. So some of the questions we ask, we know the answers to. All right? Yes, sir. Just, yeah. just know that. Uh, yeah, it's cool. You don't have to talk about your cousin. Okay? But here's the deal. Is right now, you and your cousin are in a lot of trouble. Yes, sir. Your cousin, some tells me your cousin got you in a lot of trouble today. So it's something that you need to think about, and it might not be right now, but I am telling you it's going to come to a head eventually. Yes, sir. Your cousin, it, to me, doesn't seem that he's on the straight and narrow when he's pulling you down that path. You were trying to play football. You, you were trying to get a better shoe. Your cousin don't. Yes, sir. Your cousin wants to have street rep or whatever it is that he wants to have so that he can sell his rap albums or whatever the case is. So we're going to, uh, if he has more questions for you, good. We're going to let you chill for a little bit. We're going to talk to your cousin and we might bring you back. <coughs> Any questions for me before we, before I leave? Yes, sir. Sure, you don't want to tell me anything before I leave, dude, because once I leave, dude, it's going to be hard for me to help you out after I leave, dude, because... No, sir. No, no. Do you want to clarify? No, sir. No, no. That all. All righty. Then uh, just hang tight. Let me talk to your cousin. I'll give, I'll give you a little more long, longer break without the cuffs. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, by policy, man, I got to put you back in cuffs, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll hold you back there. And then we'll be with you shortly, all right? Thank you. You mind if I lay down in here? No, you can't lay down. Really I'm sorry. You can sit in the comfy right. chair because the other chair is hard. Yeah. Yeah, he told me he's going to be swabbing for the DNA. Right. Hey, we're all, they're going to come in and take care of that real quick, dude. The other thing is we're going to also be processing your house overall for the panic. So once that is done, I'll leave a copy of it. We'll take care of that. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know that for sure. If you play sports, you're going to have at least five. But I think my rooms are downstairs, so. Yeah. Yeah. What about the clothes you were wearing last night? Where's the other? Just I don't take any extra clothes that I don't want to. No, I don't. I don't. Like that, That like I told you, I have to take my shit off. What, what brand of jeans were you wearing last night? Like, if, you, if you're like going to my room, like, you'll see them. Like, they're like, well, they're like bright. They're like bright. Are they filled with blood or anything like that? From yeah, they're like, 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 they still look new. They just have like rips like right here. Okay. Oh, they're they're like they made that they made that way with the letters. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So this is gonna be it's not gonna be painful. Nothing. It's just <laughs> the Q-tip. They swab it. They swab your inside of your cheek, both sides. You're done. Okay. One more. I don't need it. His information. Okay. So. What's his name? His name is Mau. M A W U. M A W U. M A W U. And that's uh, Revel. That's R E V E L S.
So this is like I said, this DNA is just yours. Ugh. There's no no question about it. Ugh. And then we take two so that way we make sure we have enough. Yeah. What position do you play? I play wide receiver. Wide receiver? What college is picking you up? Uh, either New Mexico Highlands, but I doubt I'll go there. I'm talking to ASU and U of A. I'm really trying to go to Arizona, so. But the, but the Mexico Highlands, like, that was like a good pickup, just because when you get one, more just starts to, you know, yeah. just like. They're trying to get in early. Yeah. Cool. Then when you get one offered, you just Where's New Mexico Highlands? Las Vegas, New Mexico. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You too, right? Yes, sir. Come on. This guy thinks he's a football player here. Just throw my game. Back in my day. Back in my day. This thing. I had a party on Friday. Had a full ride at what? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of New Mexico. Dude, what the hell, man? Like, when you're here for too long? Were you born and raised here in New Mexico? Yeah. I'm trying to get an offering, like, go somewhere different. Any other state, any yeah. state other than New Mexico. Somewhere different. Anywhere. Arizona would be cool. Not to tell, but it'd be cool at least. At least it's the same type of weather. <laughs> no. Oh, no? No, Arizona okay. is super hot. Doubled. I think the heat's longer. Okay, see, I'm I'm not from the area, so. Yeah, no. Arizona's hot. I was, I was out there for a camp. I didn't, I didn't know I could get sunburned. Like, I know, like, my face can peel. You peel? So... The swabs are sealed. So if you just want to open it up your mouth like you would, like you had the dentist. You a smoker man or what? <laughs> That's not too much weed, dude. Yeah, another one. Cop sounds like my grandpa. Oh, it's not poking you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, my grandpa was a heavy smoker, dude. He'd have those cops at night. I was like, this reminded me of. It's so I got a parrot that mimics those cops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my mom does. Okay. We're done. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get some. Just go ahead and have, if you could just give me three hundred, just go ahead and stand up over there. They're gonna take some <coughs> overall forward. She'll tell you what she needs to needs you to do. So do you want? Sorry. Same, the same overalls, side profile, okay. back, arms. Yep. Cause Tony. Any injuries that you got from the fight, dude? If you can just let us know. Okay. You know. Any, any markings on your rib, on your knuckles where you punched, scratches, anything like that, let her know. Okay. I'm going to get your face. Sorry about that. <laughs> it is bright. <laughs> okay. So if you want to hold your arms off with this. Okay, you're going to flip them over. Okay, now I'm going to face that one, take side. If you want to face back wall, facing that way. Yes, yes. That way. And then, yeah. yep. Oh. And, and then we'll go the other side. Okay. Okay, and then the other side. Police searched Mawu's residence after the interview to find real 9mm bullets and magazines matching the ammunition used to kill the victim. They also found an airsoft replica of a 9mm handgun. No real firearms were found. The case against Mawu was mostly built on witness testimony. One witness the police later located stated that he had seen the fight. 
According to him, Mawu and Isaiah pulled out handguns with laser sights during the course of the fight and began shooting. A separate witness said that earlier in the night, Mawu had shown her a black gun with a laser sight. Another witness told police that Mawu and Isaiah were shooting at her car as she drove it. An investigation of the car indeed showed four bullet holes. The witness told the police that she believed the two men were shooting at her car because they mistakenly thought she was transporting the victim. Ultimately, Mawu was found guilty and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Isaiah is still awaiting trial.